my point of all of that was to make the point in, in that we are law. So I'm going to take you back and then I'm going to bring you forward and I'll leave you right here. So jump back with me to the time of Moses and Abraham and I'm going to push you to the end of the era where um, Jesus is born Buddha 500 years earlier and Buddha and Jesus come down to the planet and they initiate the next level of law and their level of law is not external whereas the laws before were Hammurabi's code eye for an eye the laws initiated in the east the laws initiated in the west they were about civic law orders how to maintain social law now the next stage are laws about how to maintain inner self, inner laws, the next level of laws. And as those developed, what's interesting is the vertical relationship between the physical world and the spiritual world began to become more and more horizontal. In other words, more time became, became more physical. It became more and more difficult for human beings to make contact with the non-physical world because they got more and more rational. It became more and more, more and more curious, more and more mental, more and more filled in their mind with the scientific era. As the mind took over, what happened was more thinking, more reasoning. And as the reasoning and the age of reason took over, what happened was, think of this as vertical, where, where the vertical is a very mystical property. And time, um, the ver I'll do the calculations for you tomorrow. It's a bigger kind of thing. It all makes sense to you. But in vertical time, thought goes into form just like this. This is how a mystic thinks. This is where angels and um, uh, the mystical world is in timelessness. When you start building time in, I want you to imagine it starts going this way into horizontal world. So now you start thinking in terms of having a historic timeline instead of being in present time. And as soon as you start thinking in terms of your history, you, the more history you have, the denser your body. The denser and thicker your life. And the denser and thicker your life, the more, the, the, the thicker the wall between worlds. And it becomes more and more difficult for you to imagine that there's a, a world out there that has anything to do with your physical world. And you become someone who says, well, if there's only proof, if there's just proof, if there's proof, if there's proof, if there's proof, you become a very mental creature. And your mind becomes very a separating operating force from the way your heart works and the way your spirit works. So the nature of the last 2,000 years was very much like that and then we entered the nuclear age. And as soon as we entered the nuclear age, what happened was in the explosion of that, we it says if the, the entering nuclear territory caused the consciousness to instantly go into present time. It's as if the hourglass shifted and all of a sudden the laws 
where before everybody thought matter came before energy, suddenly the hourglass shifted that fast and now energy came before matter. Suddenly thought was more powerful than form, whereas before form had power. We turned, the, the world was turned upside down. And from that moment on, we have been running to catch up with what happened 50 years ago, 60 years ago. The internet is the result of that. Energy medicine is the result. The, you, us thinking that we're intuitive, the whole way we see the body, this workshop is in fact the result of us seeing ourselves through a lens that began with entering the nuclear age. But to our point, it has this opened up the, a mystical corridor that, had, that now what makes it exciting for me, I know it's late and I know this is the kind of stuff, like couldn't you read jokes, but <laughs> is that the, um, w the laws, the way that I will teach you uh, to understand the way you work, the way you function is no longer about uh, what you believe religiously. None of that matters anymore. None of that stuff has anything to do. It's like the moment has come where you need to understand your anatomy as an energetic, through a, through a lens that now says this is just the way you are because this is the nature of how you're designed. This is the nature of how your soul works. This is the anatomy of your soul. This is the nature of how the laws of the universe work with the laws of your personal universe that is your body. This is how you, you function in horizontal time and this is how you function in vertical. This is the era that we've entered into. We are now living between worlds. We are living at a time when the way in which we have to, we, uh, th there are illnesses that have been create that are being generated um, that can't be treated with conventional medicine because they have nothing to do with conventional sources. The types of autism, Alzheimer's, energetic diseases, that are happening because they're from their vertical disorders. They're not horizontal. They're vertical. And they're from energetic. They're not from this thing called purple babies or violet babies. Indigo. Indigo. <laughs> That's all made up stuff by the author. They're from the fact that our neurology has not yet adapted itself to the multi-sensory energetics of who we are. Okay, we have to under, you have to understand we, we haven't yet defined ourselves as being multi-sensory. We still think of ourselves and we still teach our kids that we're five senses when in fact we have 10 and 20. We don't educate our kids the right way. We don't tell them you have energy senses, you have emotional senses, you have psychic, you have spiritual. This is how they work and this is what they're attuned to. They're not even learning the right anatomy yet. 